Memphis Grizzly star John ja Morant has been suspended for a second time after once again appearing to flash a gun on social media. The video circulated on Saturday night. It shows Morant with what appears to be a handgun while he's riding in a friend's car. Yesterday, the Grizzlies said they were aware of the video and suspended Morant from all team activities pending league review. In March, Morant was suspended for eight games after he was seen holding a gun inside a nightclub on Instagram. 346 minutes later. Uh, this man has still not learned his lesson, bro. Oh, yeah, Diddy got a podcast. Man, welcome back to another episode of the Ruling Class Podcast or Diddy Got a Podcast. And of course, I'm your host, Diddy Backup Fitness, which with another video. Listen, if you're new to the show, please know we are thirsty to grow. And to drink some of this water. You can help me out by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. But don't worry, I'm going to give you a second to do that. Tell me out. Just hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. So you can be notified every time we post a new video. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I have a question. Is there a difference between black culture and hip hop culture? Real question. Legit question. I dropped a video a few months ago that is entitled, uh, This is Why I Don't Follow Black Culture Anymore. And of the several hundreds, uh, hundreds of comments in the comment section on that video, there are many of those comments, people are saying, uh, bro, what you're talking about is hip hop culture, bro. You're not talking about black culture. A uh, news flash. Can somebody tell me in 2023, what's the freaking difference? I think people are in the den denial, mostly black people are in denial about the huge impact that hip hop culture has on black culture nowadays, right? It's almost not even, inter it's, it's interchangeable at this point, right? Hip hop culture is such a big part of black culture nowadays. Look around, bro. Our, our, our children, our kids are the future. Look at what they're influenced by. Look at what they do. Look at what they're engaged by. Look what has their attention. That is a big part of what black culture is. We have to stop being in denial about that. Why am I talking about that? John Moran star basketball player for the Memphis Grizzlies. A lot of you may know this. A lot of you may not know this. This player was suspended twice in the last year, really the last, what, six months, for being caught on camera flashing a pistol. Memphis Grizzlies star John ja Morant has been suspended for a second time after once again appearing to flash a gun on social media. The video circulated on Saturday night. It shows Morant with what appears to be a handgun while he's riding in a friend's car. Yesterday, the Grizzlies said they were aware of the video and suspended Morant from all team activities pending league review. In March, Morant was suspended for eight games after he was seen holding a gun inside a nightclub on Instagram. And for those of you who like to defend this and say, hey, if it was a white guy who was had, who had a hunting rifle after hunting deer and took a picture and posted it online, nobody would care. Well, that's the point because it's two different scenarios, right? two different perceptions that's being seen there, right? So taking a picture with a rifle and flashing a gun as you listen to NBA Youngboy talking about murdering people and talking about sliding on the ops and things of that sort, especially a gun that, as I understand it, and please feel free free to correct me in the comment section, a gun that he has not registered to John Morant, that's a problem, bro, especially when you work 200 plus million dollars. Congratulations to you that you have put yourself in a position due to your talent, your hard work, your grind, where you work that much money. But that's another reason why it's such a big deal because of the influence that you have now, bro. So it's crazy that you do this. We talk, but anyways, we're talking about John Morant because the man just came back from a 25 game suspension. The season is only what, 81 games? You've missed a huge chunk of the season already from just ignorant behavior. You got Kyle Wentz on camera was suspended. You got caught again after talking to the commissioner, the NBA commissioner, Adam Silver, and then you you did it again. Your homeboy got you on camera flashing another pistol, listening to NBA Youngboy both times. Not a coincidence. Well, here he is making a comeback 
coming back after being suspended for 25 games. The first game back, the man hit the game winner against, the, uh, I believe, the New Orleans Pelicans. I want you to take a listen to what John Morant said after the game. You could not have scripted a better first game back than what Ja Morant just did. 34 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, and the game winner at the buzzer as well. And he had to let everyone know that he kept the receipts. Back on that time, baby! I kept receipts, dude! What are you talking about? Receipts for what? Receipts for who? This is my problem with so-called black people and so-called black culture. Because we don't learn. The man has not learned his lesson. Let's first talk about and just break down what he said. I kept receipts too. I kept receipts too. Receipts for what? Because people was called. Nobody questioned your greatness on the basketball court, bro. Which is probably my biggest rant about John Morant. Just real quick. He's too cocky for me. There's a difference between cockiness and arrogance. If, you, if you're a sports fan and if you know what I'm talking about, you know. This dude and the Memphis Grizzlies, but it starts with John Morant, is the most cockiest player I've probably ever seen in my life who hasn't won anything. You're not a champion. You haven't made a deep playoff run yet. You haven't won MVP. You haven't won defensive player of the year. You, you haven't even been runner-ups for any of these things. Why are you so cocky, bro? I, I'm all for a player adding elements to the game that makes it more competitive because when you're trash talking people, that makes them want to get back at you. I'm all for that as a fan of the game. But my problem with John Moran is it is on and off the court. It's this, this cognitive dissonance. It's this ignorance where he doesn't want to listen. How do you miss 25 game suspension? You're, you're costing your team. You're costing your teammates. You're putting your career at risk. You're about to lose a bag, which means you're putting your family's jeopardy at risk, right? Being able to take care of your family in the same way that you would if you wasn't doing these things. This is my problem. And again, this is bigger than just John Moran. This is about black culture, bro. Because I made a video a few months ago talking about um, something along the lines of why are black college students like this? And I'm a public speaker. What I was talking about in that video was when I go to college campuses to speak, the people who normally come to speak to me after you know, my speaking engagements, the people when I walk across these campuses that are the friendliest are always non-black people. The the black people, I hate to say it because I don't want to be, be the one to say this, but it's the truth, bro. We are the most arrogant people. How are we the most, we the least educated. We come th from the most disenfranchised environments, right? We come from the most gang infested environments, right? The world, we, 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 a lot of black Americans, we feel like the world is against us. Yet we the most arrogant. We act like we, we better than most other... A lot of us act like that. Why is that? He, this man has not learned his lesson. Not to mention, look what he did as a celebration. What that tells me is that for one, what I've been saying the whole video, he hasn't learned this lesson. What that also tells me is that the people, the circle that's around him, including his parents, are not getting through to him. Either they're not telling him the right things or they're telling him he's not listening. That's a problem, bro. People say, well, he, he can at least celebrate that way. He can't do anything. No. If you were just suspended, you're costing your team, your family, your career. You're putting all this stuff on the line. Why would you celebrate that way? That tells me it's ingrained in his brain. That tells me that we are underestimating the culture that we're in. Like, for example, I just got back from Memphis, Tennessee. Went there n not even a week ago. And I went down there jigging. If you don't know what jigging is, jigging is a very popular dance that originated out of Memphis, right? I'm a huge fan of the dancing in itself. It's very, very, you know, the artistry, the, the brilliance of the dancing. I do believe, make no mistake, that black culture is the most impactful and influential culture on planet earth that's what i feel i think it's obvious i don't i don't know if anybody would dispute that that's part of the reason why i talk about it all the time because people have my comment and say well what about the mafia what about the mexican cartel other people you don't you don't say that that's you know hispanic culture you don't say that that's italian culture you but, but you're missing a point first of all i'm a black american 
So I want to hold us accountable first. Secondly, I believe that our, our culture, our influence is the most impactful in the world, bro. So it's important what we're sharing with other people, right? What we're influencing other people to do. When I go to Memphis, which I just got back from, met OG Jaws, you know, Dreyum. If you know who this is, if you're a part of the joking, you know, world and familiar with that, those are two of the biggest names in, you know, internationally when it comes to the joking community. I went down there to one of their shows because I just wanted to, you know, show my support, you know, help so-called black-owned businesses, right? I wanted to support them. Met them, it was great. But what you see when you go to Memphis, it's no secret. It's extremely dangerous when you go down there and you see that hip-hop is a huge impact on what we think, how we feel, how we go about seeing things in life. And John Morant plays in Memphis, by the way, and you see what he's influenced by. This is a problem. The best defense that I've heard anybody make for him was Stephen A. Smith, who said, like, maybe when he was saying, I, I kept receipts too, he was talking about those NBA players who did not reach out to John ja Morant during the time that he was suspended. And no, those NBA players didn't reach out to check on him to see how he was doing. Okay, even if that was true, why would he say I kept receipts after he had a game winner? It wouldn't make sense to say that there. To me, from my perspective, it's obvious. He's talking about he hit a game winner, he's back. And, and that was for all the people who talked down on him. For him effing up. Him effing up. Putting his career at stake. Costing his team. This is wild to me because this happens in real life all the time. We try to get through to the very people who is influenced by this toxic, degenerate, dangerous culture that we're impacted by. And it, it, it's very difficult to get through to some um, somebody when you're trying to talk to them here and there when the culture is nonstop, right? They're seeing the culture on TV, on the internet, on the radio, everywhere. Hip hop culture is black culture. They have infiltrated our system. Yes, the record labels deserve a lot of the blame. Yes, slavery and all those things play a role. But what I'm saying is we have to, to acknowledge the impact that culture is having on our people. When you got multi-millionaires in John Moran who can't seem to get it through to his head that he's costing himself. The world isn't against you, bro. You got to F up your bag. And you mad at other people for trying to hold you accountable. How that work? Y'all hop in the comment section, man. Give me y'all thoughts. What do y'all think about this? Is hip-hop culture the same thing as black culture? Is it separate? Is it different? Right? What do you think about this behavior from John Morant? Give me your thoughts below, man. I would really, really appreciate it. And yo, ask me about my podcast, man. Parts. Oh, yeah. Diddy got a podcast.